I'm Matt Pike, high on fire and sleep. With us, yeah. and uh, welcome to Desert Fest 2018. Oh, yeah. Um, so, here with High on Fire, you haven't released any new albums for it's been three years now. Will we be hearing any new stuff? Uh, no, not so much. I'm not, mm. I'm not putting it on the chopping block yet because our album drops in September, and yeah, we stay. It's really, it's really difficult music. I, I can do some at the practices, but. No need to put it out there yet. I'll put it out there near when the album's dropping or something, but... Okay. Well, so you just released the latest Sleep album as yep. well, which was a surprise <laughs> to all of us. Yeah, yeah. long time coming, surprise, surprise. <laughs> we released it on 420. Wow. Yeah, it took a little bit to put all that together, but, you know, um, there's a lot of stuff on it that's, like, old, but has been, like, we refreshed all, like, mm. the old old stuff and you know having jay actually record some stuff with us was really really you know that was good it was good to have our new drummer make an album with us yeah i really love the material on that i can't wait to start playing different sleep songs and playing the same songs for a really long time so <laughs> i think we're all really happy to like have a new challenge and it's a great album as well and it's your first one with, you said the third man records yep so do you want to tell us how that came about um, just, uh, our, our merch girl, Lindsay, uh, is friends with the guys at Third Man, and, you know, we were just kind of talking about how we were going to shop it and who was going to put it out, and, and they, I like how they're focused on vinyl and record stores, and that's kind of the way Sleep is, too, where, you know, we're, we're into the vintage sort of classic rock, you know, <laughs> the Pink Floyd, Black Sabbath. I'm into Led Zeppelin too, but, uh, and all, you know, ACDC and all that kind of stuff. So going back in time to to Rush, you know, the way they were releasing albums back then, Third Man's kind of into the same thing where it's old school like that, so. Yeah, and it seems to work for that band. That's what that band does. It's a 70s rock concert in the 2000s, you know. Um, obviously the reason we're today is Orange Alps. Do you want to run us through your rig? for this tour, which is pretty much all the amps. This tour I'm running to the Dual Darks. Like with High on Fire, I can't go with that, the whole, you know, I, with Sleeve, I hook up, I'll hook up like nine heads and as many cabinets as I can get. And you make it controllable. With uh, High on Fire, it's a little more, because it, it's faster and very more detailed and very, you know, precise and, you have to control when you when you start making sound waves that are in that pattern that are fast. You, you wouldn't even be able to tell what we were playing if I was using as much gear as Sleep uses, because gear the, the the bands are very different in the way that the frequencies. You know, Sleep you hit a note and you let it ring for a long time. High on fire is like you jab it in there. So there's two particular sounds. I have to use filters. And with the amps, I have to use a little gainier the amp. Um, for like the sleep stuff, I have to use a lot of sustain and saturation. For the high on fire stuff, I need it a little quicker. I need a, a quicker pick response. Um, I can't have so much low end that there's not definition. So there's a lot more mid range, you know, and I'm kind of like doing, with high on fire, it's kind of like part sleep and then part thrash metal with Black Sabbath tones. And, um, I, I like the dual darks for that. Sleep, I can use the the, um, the, the whole array of, of oranges. You just have to get that like, you know, kind of Malcolm Young sound and then just add your effects and kind of dial them in. And yeah, so it, they're apples and oranges, those two bands. So I have to swap pedals and do a bunch of stuff every time I change. And yeah, but I'm using two uh, dual darks today and four cabinets, that's about what I need because I have an awesome sound guy who, you know, that's enough That's enough for the stage volume and, uh, you know, whatever I don't have, my uh, sound guy, he can pump that, but sleep is all about the stage volume where I am just literally making my own PA and now is making his own PA all the way across the stage. And then when you have another PA to actually, that's big enough to expound upon what's already happening, it's massive sounding. 
but you can't play fast that way and have anybody understand what you're doing because there's too much of a <laughs> there's air moving but if you just hit it once and let it ring out for a long time that's kind of the point behind that it's like it's like an amplifier check that whole band <laughs> when you're writing when you're making music do you kind of when you when you have an idea do you instantly know if it's for a sleep or high on fire or does that kind of just progress um, naturally kind of sometimes and sometimes I can make one thing into the other I, I don't know uh, it, yeah it's kind of like you, yeah, most of the time I'll know if it's more of a sleep riff than a high on fire riff or a high on fire. Yeah, they're, they're, they have differences, but you, I can make a high on fire riff into a sleep riff, and yeah. I can make a sleep riff into a high on fire riff yeah, pretty easily. All you have to do is change the tempo and change the BPMs and change the, yeah, change a lot of the accents that are yeah. going on, you know?